Okay, hello everybody. How are you doing today? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Don't worry, we will get through it. We will get through it and uh, I see we do have a quorum. So the regular meeting of the Board of Directors of the Association of Condominium Owners of Nirvana Gardens will come to order. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, at this point I would like to depart from the Roberts Rules of Order and uh, introduce our facilitator, Ed. Hi. I'd like to talk a little bit about this evening's meeting. Now, I'm sure that you've noticed for one thing that your table is missing. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, hello. That's because we're going to be trying a little different kind of a meeting tonight to address the problem that you've been having with your third assessment. In this meeting, we're going to be using a process that I learned about at the university. Uh, and I'll be your facilitator, and it's my job to separate process from content in your meeting. Now, Mary will be writing down everything you say, and she'll be using these! <laughs> This person needs help. He's learned the importance of a content focus and process focus in meetings. But he forgot a little bit of knowledge is a dangerous thing. He still needs to learn a little bit more. First of all, there's no one right way to facilitate a meeting. To facilitate means to make easy. And since the role of the facilitator is based on flexibility and accommodation to the needs of the group, it is impossible to give you a guide like Robert's Rules of Order. You as the facilitator will choose process techniques that will help the group work on the content of their meeting. But first, you must make very sure that everyone in the group understands clearly what your role is. Let's go back a little bit in time. And it's my job to separate process from content in your meeting. Now Mary will be writing down everything you say. And Ed! Who? What? What? Who? Do you think everyone in the group knows what process and content are? Well, I... How do you think they feel about you writing down everything they say? Well, uh... Okay, just do what I tell you. First, turn around and give them a better idea of what the facilitator's role is. Uh, can they uh, hear you? I don't think so. Great. But before we go any further, I think I should explain a few things about what Mary and I are here for. Well, as your president mentioned, my name is Ed, and I'm what's called a meeting facilitator. Now, basically, that means that I will make suggestions involving process or how we talk about solving your problems. Now, this is your meeting, so you're going to provide the content or the actual solutions to the problems themselves. Now, I won't contribute ideas of my own. I won't evaluate the ones that you have. It's my job to stay neutral, and that's where I need your help. If you find that I'm getting out of line in any way, uh, being manipulative, uh, not fully understanding what you're saying, please let me know. Uh, together, we can make this a very productive meeting and really address the problem that you're having with your third assessment. But before we get started, I'd like to introduce Mary, your recorder, and she'll tell you what that means. Okay, thanks, Ed. Hi, everybody. I'm Mary. I'm going to be... How was that? Great. Now, after Mary's done, make sure everyone understands their role in this meeting, too. All this is a lot of work. Can't we just let them figure it out for themselves? Ed! Get out there and facilitate. All right, but while I'm out there sweating, why don't you explain all these roles to the people out there glued to the tube? That sounds fair enough. I think one good way for you to begin understanding the role of the facilitator in meetings is to imagine the facilitator as a conductor of a symphony orchestra. The facilitator doesn't write the music or play the instruments. The facilitator is in charge of making sure the group gets to the end of the piece, the solution, with as much harmony as possible. In this emotional symphony, each group member has been assigned an emotion or a content to convey. If they all performed at once,
without a process focus, it would sound like this. But under the direction of an experienced facilitator, That final note is a good representation of synergy, when the group's energy is greater than the sum of individual members. No one person could have made that sound. And another thing, that particular sound can never be replicated. Once it's happened, it's gone. That's where the role of the group memory and the recorder come in. All right, but before we get started, I'd like to introduce Mary, your recorder, and she'll tell you what that means. Okay, thanks, Ed. Hi everybody, my name's Mary. I'm going to be your recorder and I'll need your help because it's my job to make a record of this meeting called the group memory. Now I can't write down everything you say so I'll try for key ideas in your words. So keep me honest. Don't let me paraphrase, don't let me interpret. It's your meeting, it's your... No, that's not what I said. You weren't listening. What I said... I heard what you said. That's my job. Now this is what it meant to me. What? Are you really listening to what the group said? Listening? I'm great at listening. Oh, good. Well then, just remember whose meeting it is. Oh, yeah. Theirs? That's right. You know, meetings would be so much better without... Participants? Right. <laughs> The most important thing for anyone to remember, facilitator, recorder, and participant, is this. It's the participants' meeting. They have to keep the facilitator in line. I don't care what you say! I've got a great idea of my own! They also have to make sure the recorder is accurate. Excuse me. Yes, Kay. Uh, it's Kondo. No M. Oh, okay. I hear you. Thanks. Is that better? And most of all, participants have to focus on content and let the facilitator guide them through process. Of course, really focusing on content means listening to other group members with an open mind. Otherwise, When participants don't respect each other and all try to solve the problem at once, it can be a disaster. So let's go back one more time and see how it works when everyone plays their roles properly. Well, when I talked with your president about tonight's agenda, we discussed uh, the purpose of the meeting as well as what we call potential desired outcomes. Now, that's the result well, the purpose of purpose is obvious. We're here to make sure that we can get that damn driveway fixed. Wait we a can minute. How can you talk about the driveway when the grounds around this condo look like we're cultivating a weed garden? I can see that people came to this meeting with different expectations about what we're here to accomplish. Yeah, right. I'd say. So uh, let's just go around the room quickly and share our expectations for this meeting. Let's talk a minute about expectations. We all know that the expectations we take into any meeting have a very strong influence on our perception of success at the end of the meeting. As a result, 
it is important to acknowledge and legitimize where people are coming from and help them to define a common purpose or content focus. This will assist them in developing more realistic expectations and make success more likely. Let's see how this facilitator handles it. But while we talk about expectations, uh, can you help Mary and me get to know you a little bit better by telling us your name and uh, something about your association with this group? For instance, uh, you could tell us uh, why you joined the board, um, how long you've lived in the building. Uh, John, can you help us get started with that? Sure. I'm John Smith. I've lived in the building for 10 years. I ran for the board because my home is in this building and I want to make sure that it's well maintained. And that's pretty much what I expect from this meeting. Um, a total commitment to the group to see that that driveway gets fixed. If you're really concerned about maintenance, take a look at the grounds. Uh, if you want to speak now, Nan, can you tell us why you're on the board and what your expectations are? Can we all agree then that we need to focus on determining how the funds from a third assessment uh, from the condo owners would be utilized? Okay, then for this meeting, desired outcomes can be the identifying and prioritizing of your most critical needs. Then, if we have some time, we could even begin to formulate a plan for how to use the third assessment funds to uh, address the most important ones. I'm willing to have an open discussion about the needs. But I expect others to do the same. Okay, I think everyone has agreed to the purpose and the desired outcomes for this meeting. Uh, and Mary's written them down for us. So uh, we'd like to leave that up there, along with the rest of the group memory, so that if we uh, start to get off track, we can always refer back to that. So uh, at this point, I'd like to use brainstorming to develop a list of Nirvana Gardens needs. Does anyone have an objection to that? Okay. We'll list every suggestion made, and we won't spend any time evaluating or discussing the suggestions. We'll have time to evaluate and prioritize the items after we have our list. Are there any questions about what we're doing? All right, then, uh, who wants to begin? What I said earlier, the driveway needs to be resurfaced. We need more money for the grounds around the condo. You know, get rid of all the weeds. <gasps> Put up some... <sighs> uh, just a second, just a second. Uh, remember... We're just creating our list here right now, so uh, we're not spending time at this point uh, evaluating or you know, discussing any, any single item. So uh, uh, does anyone else have another suggestion for the list? Security. The security in this building is totally inadequate, and I have a lot of ideas on how I want to improve that uh, if we decide that that's a priority. Security? What about all the potholes? Okay, John, we agree that during brainstorming, we're not going to take time to evaluate any one item. Now, is the pothole problem captured in this item? Driveway needs resurfacing? Or is that a different problem? No, that covers it. 